Welcome to FCRB TV. Uh, as you know, today is the North London Derby, September 1st, 2019. Uh, you know, both sides are coming off losses. Um, and uh, I think that uh, it's a massive, massive opportunity for Arsenal to, um, you know, put the sword to our n noisy neighbors and uh, send their their club into uh, a, a downward spiral because there's there's unrest in the Spurs camp. You know, Ericsson wants to leave. They they were they were lucky to get a draw at the Etihad two weeks ago. Then last week they lost one nil to strugglers Newcastle, and um, I believe that um, I just got a notification that uh, Unai Emery has put put in the squad for for the match today. Um, I'm going to give you what the squad I think we should have, uh, and then we'll see how close I am to what he is going to give us at the Emirates today. But uh, as I said, I think that they're in free for all. They're in a downward spiral, Spurs. And if we can beat them, if we if if, if we can if we can bat to them today, put them under some pressure and, and give put them to the sword, then um, it's going to be great because we will go back into third place. They'll start to fall, you know, fall down the table, and um, they may not recover because there's definitely things going on at Spurs. Uh, Pochettino's had some dodgy, some shady um, interviews of late. Um, as I said, it's, 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 it's well documented that uh, Christian Eriksen, their, their talisman in the middle, their, their creator, their, their creative uh, uh, mind in their midfield wants to leave. He wants, he wants a, a pastures new. So um, if they lose today to us, which would be fantastic. We need to play well. Um, we could really, really dent our neighbors really bad and let them know who are the kings of North London. Matter of fact, all of London, because Chelsea's whack, because they, uh, they drew 2-2 yesterday with uh, Sheffield United. And uh, United drew again away at St. Mary's to Southampton. Um, uh, you know, I tell you what, so... Before I get into all those other guys who lost yesterday or whatever, Drew, um, Arsenal, I think, have got to go to the 4-2-3-1 today. Um, I believe that uh, we need to um, play the 4-2-3-1 with uh, Bird Leno in goal. Right back is going to Ainsley Maitland and Niles. The two center backs, this is going to be tough. But I know that I will not get this get this correct because of just how things are. I would play Socrates and Callum Chambers at centre back. I know they're gonna put in David Luiz, but I do not rate David Luiz. David Luiz is a poser. He's a fraud. I've said it before. And Liverpool at at Anfield last week, uh, where he was exposed yet again. I don't know how anyone can have any confidence in that man so I would play Chambers but that probably not going to happen and then left back the left back that I wanted um, has left for Real Sociedad so what happens now is this is what happens now I'm going to change it we're gonna to have to play a 3-5-2 today we're gonna to have to play a 3-5-2 today because Nacho Monreal is left and Kieran Tierney is not ready so we're going to go a 3-5-2 with, um, with my man, Bird Leno in goal, Callum Chamber Chambers at right centre-back, uh, David Luiz at centre-back, Socrates at left centre-back, then the left wing-back will be uh, Kola, Kolasinac, then in the middle of the park, we're going to go with Torreira and Willock, Yes, the youngster, I'll put him in there. And then the right wing back is going to be Ainsley. And then the attacking midfield is going to be Danny Sibayo. And then up front, you're going to go with Obama Yang and Lacazette. That is the team to win today. And that's all because Nacho Monreal is left. If we had... Because uh, you, you, you all know that Kola cannot play left back. He won't come back. So just let him play wing back and then have a centre back there to protect. You get what I'm saying? So, all because Nacho is left now for Real Sociedad, 
All the best to you, Nacho. You were fantastic for us. Um, we have to play a 3-5-2 today. I really believe he's going to have to go with that. And with that team that I just selected, um, I think that that's what he should go with. But I know that he's going to try to put Shaka in there and give him the captain's band. What a joke. Shaka. He's just going to give the ball away today. And we'll still prevail. That's how crap Spurs are. I, I feel confident. I think we're going to win the game today. I want to say we'll beat them like... Uh, I want us to batter them like 4-1, yeah? 4-1, I'm going to say. I want us to really smack them at the Emirates. Um, but that's the team I think we have to go with. Um, Mesut also should dress and be on the bench. Because if, if, if uh, after 60 minutes, if Shebayo is doing well, he stays until the 75th. And then Mesut gets the last 15 minutes. But uh, if Shebayo is not having the best of games, then Mesut will come in. Um, and I know you guys are all asking, what about Nicolas Pepe? Um, Nicolas Pepe... Uh, he's one of those guys who needs his own ball. So in the 3-5-2, he can't play the on the right-hand side. So he would have to come on for a striker. So depending on how the game goes, you know, maybe he comes on, maybe he doesn't. Yes, he's 70, 72 million, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it already, and people are going to be mad at me, fellow Gunners, I'm sorry. In time, you forgive me, but I don't think he's going to be anything special for us, you know. I really don't. He doesn't kick the ball properly. He's, he's Gervinho. He's not even better than Gervinho. Remember Jovino? Yeah. He's not even better than him. So, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't see it. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. So, uh, um, so I, I think he's going to be average player. It's going to be a waste of money. Average player. I don't see him coming in to make any difference. The difference in the match today is going to be uh, uh, Obama Yang and Lacazette up front doing the business with Shebayo underneath. In the three-five-two, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, uh, some of some 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 uh, uh, outlets yesterday were asking the question, "How do we feel about the results of United and uh, and um, and uh, Chelsea yesterday?" And I said, "It doesn't matter right now until we get our results today. If we win today, then yes, it was fantastic. If we don't win today, and I don't even want to draw." If we don't win today, then yesterday doesn't mean anything. We have to win today. We have to win today. There's so much on the line today in this match. So I'm really hoping that the boys come out and, and have a response after they 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 capitulated at uh, Anfield last week. And I think that looking back on that game, we had some grown men out there who were playing in fear. They were frightened. David Luiz is a fraud, man, and he, he was scared. And even... My man, Unai Emre, he went into the match with fear in his heart. And that's why he picked such a strange lineup. And that's why he didn't play Lacazette. And, I mean, I don't know. Listen, we don't defend well. So, your best defense, at times, has to be your attack. So, when you cannot defend, you have David Luiz in your team. How are you not going to play your best striker? But that was last week. So, this week, I think he's going to have to play Laka from the start and play him for 90 minutes. 90 plus minutes. That's what I think. I don't think that, um, um, you know, he, he, he could possibly play Laka for about 75 minutes, 70 minutes, and then bring on Pepe and put him up front and just have him run at people because that's really all he does is run at people. But, you know, but he cannot shoot. He cannot kick. And when I say kick, you know, he just cannot he can't strike a ball properly, man. He just say, uh, whatever. I'm not impressed, but we'll see. He has his early days. You might not like what I'm saying, but give it time. We'll see what happens. But today, I think we'll win 4-1. Then we'll play a 3-5-2. Terrell will, will, will be the dominant ball winner in midfield for us. Willock will just be smooth as ever, box to box, getting the ball to Shebayo, and it's going to be on and popping for the front, too. All right? So that's my little, uh, that's my little uh, North London Derby preview, and I'll be back after the match. All right? So uh, let, me know what you th let me know what your lineup should be. Um, and uh, let me know what you think of, of, of my assessment of how we should go about it today. And uh, we'll, we'll talk later, okay? Subscribe at the bottom. FCRB TV will be back.